Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more St. Clair Saints Valorant. My name is Jackson the Pride Brown, joined alongside Donka J. Donka here still tonight. And uh, we got a banger of a matchup. We're going to map number three here on this NECC regular season finale game between your St. Clair Saints and then uh, Lebanon here. And uh, I mean, to be completely honest, like things have been back and forth. Two dominant games come through from either side. Lebanon takes a very good map one. Pretty dominant win. St. Clair takes an even more dominant win there in map number two. Um, they're on Haven. So now going into Breeze, a map that we haven't really seen much from either of these teams throughout this whole season. And I know for a fact that we haven't seen it from the Saints in a competitive set at all yet this, this like, ever in Saints history. We've never Saints Gaming Valorant has never played Breeze competitively in a league. And this is the first time we're ever going to see that. So I'm very excited that it is going to be in a map three finale with a lot on the line. See, there's a lot on the line for both teams here. Lebanon, a lot more on the line for them, in my opinion. Lebanon, if they don't win this map, there's a very good chance that they do actually end up going home and not making playoffs. But St. Clair, they're playing for seeding. They're in playoffs no matter what at this point in time. They're just looking to get the win on this map and maybe move up a position or two in seeding and get an easier playoff run. Yeah, that would be an, inter an interesting thing to see too. Um, but right now on on this map, the three characters that I know for a fact are one of the best are, uh, what's it called? Sage, Viper, and Jet. Viper can take on a whole site. Oh, for sure. The Viper's so massive for the ult, right? Like, the ult is so big for Viper and always will be. Uh, Vikan, I like that we see some Sages coming through here in this one. We see a Sky for Lebanon and a Sage for St. Clair. So we have heals on both sides. JRC might be getting an aggressive pick. Maybe finding some feet. He does spot a little bit of a foot there, but nothing really enough worth shooting on. And it's going to be Casper and I don't know who getting some early gunfights. Reliable, going to get the best of it though. Two on one trades in favor of Lebanon. Now trying to get our answer back, but Wombat tagged down to 13 HP and the Sage is already down. So at this point in time, St. Clair in a little bit of a sticky situation, but JRC lines up two, gets the dash and almost a third on Nyx. 2v2 now. One thing that does concern me though is how weak Wombat is. He's going to have a lot to do here and Viper not really crazy close, but he is on a really good flank. Blossom could really catch these players off guard. If they can pinch this site together, it'd be huge there for them. That dart's going to come through, not really going to connect on anything though, but it does distract these players from Blossom, which is the big thing. Blossom gonna get a dink and he cleans up a kill. Great shots from a distance. Now they can pinch this player out. Wombat has one side of him. Blossom has the other. And they're just looking to clean him up. He's essentially one HP to a bullet from the ghost here. But you don't have a crazy amount of time to work with. You gotta get her going. Yeah, at this point, just one stick, one ghost kill. Oh, but that's a big one. So Blossom gets a half, and he can't clean it up. He should have hopped off that as soon as he got a half, but no, Nick's getting a 3k, wins a 1v2 clutch, and Lebanon Valley gonna take the round number one of game number three here. I feel like over there, uh, Blossom, what he thought was uh, that Wombat killed him since they were like since he was very low. Yeah, for sure. So here we go. I mean, uh, yeah, it's the health. The health was the biggest thing there for that matchup. But here we are. One one scoreline wise for the series and one nothing now for Lebanon as they do take this round number one in St. Clair. Uh, I, I think that St. Clair, we should see them be forcing second round more often. Because I think that they, like, for example, Lebanon forced last round despite losing round number one uh, last game. And it worked out well for them. And I think we could see similarities in the Saints doing it as well. But, yeah, not going to be the case quite yet. We do see Sage on pretty good work there, actually, just watching from bridge. But, I mean, at this point in time, this is a full rush on the site. A site fully in control of the side of Lebanon. And St. Clair's just trying to find some frags here at this point. Down a player, though. Casper will open us up with one, maybe a second. He gets a dink there. Can't clean it up, though, but Vcan will. That's going to be a Spectre down for Vcan. It's three on three and a very winnable one at that, but Claude going to get a big pick, but Blossom on the flank might be able to have an impact on a Claude. I don't know, though. Not a lot of time to work with this bomb ticking. It's going to be very difficult to do it, especially that he has an Ares, I believe. Yeah, so Claude going to be peeking out on bridge here, but Blossom still hunting, and don't know what's really going to happen here. So actually, this player did hop down from bridge, so Blossom's not able to get rewarded with the kill and result of that. Claude moves closer to the site, and uh, it's just going to be Blossom trying to find a pick here, and he does. So there, that's beneficial for him. Can he find another? Almost. Almost. Very good stuff. He will actually force I don't know who to buy new armor, so it is good that he was able to at least cost Lebanon Valley some money there, taking down one player and getting a lot of damage done on another one of them. Especially that now they actually are able to buy assault rifles. Mm -hmm. It's very huge because for them. Because if St. Clair loses this round, I'm going to stand up and 
bang the desk or something because to be completely honest like this is uh, there's no way st clair loses this round four marshals and an aries is what they're going against so, well three marshals and aries and a frenzy now um or nope what are, we, what are we getting locked in with Lebanon? What are we doing with here? Four Marshals? Yeah, four Marshals and an Ares coming through. And uh, St. Clair should not be losing this round. I, 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 the round hasn't even been started yet. But I swear if these Marshals start going off, I'm going to have a problem. <laughs> I mean, they do have the Ares. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, this is what I'm very concerned about, man. This is what I am worried about. Uh, it is going to be an early pick for Lebanon taking down that Sky. And another one from Reliable. Ah, oh, the marshals there, Donka. The marshals. JRC will find one for us, though. But he's just going to get instantly tagged in the back, and he will somehow keep his life with a good jet dash. But it's not going to be easy now. He also will be vipered out. He's going to get tagged down to 8 HP, and he will get cleaned up there from Claude. Wombat going to get a refrag. Now in a two on three. A lot of work having to come through. Wombat finds one. He is, does still have 125 HP. He does still, like, more than one shot to a marshal, which is beneficial. Uh, Blossom as well, but the Reyna flank right now from Lebanon is so big. You see it come through here, and he's all the way back in this defending side. Also, Viper is just holding awesome. mid their spawn. Yeah, and, and he can get some good intel if he can turn at the right time. Wombat finds one, and good trades there for Blossom. He did peek at the right time there, put it now into a one-on-one. -on -one. Issue is, he has no clue where John Cook is, and John Cook knows where he is. But the thing is, too, is that Blossom has bombed down, and John Cook has to come and retrieve this bomb. He does still only have a marshal, but he will gather up a rifle, and that makes this a lot more concerning as well. Part of me thinks that Blossom might have been better off just holding that angle. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a marshal. It's one ding to the head, no matter True. what. True, 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 but the planet goes through, and now we will see a retake, retake attempt to come through from St. Clair. Um, it would be devastating to lose this round, to be completely honest, to these marshals. And you can see Blossom in the bottom left of your screen there. Pressure is on at this point in time, and see, he's going to peek from above. I like this. I do like this play, but the thing is, he has such a hard time to know where his opponent is. Nobody has spotted at each other yet, but John Cook, I think, will end up getting a jump on him, maybe. But this timing is actually crazy. But now they know where Blossom kind of is. Blossom going to bait it out. Try to get this player to wrap around to him. And he does. John Cook cleans it up. And Lebanon wins a martial round. Um, no, I will not be banging the desk right now, unfortunately. But uh, St. Clair will drop a third. And that makes me very concerned, especially now for the side of Lebanon's economy. It's stacked. They can afford an op and still have over $2,000 left. But it doesn't look like they actually will be opting to use the op. <laughs> See what I did there? But no, it is going to be... The three sheriffs and two marshals there for the side of St. Clair now. Trying to do kind of what Lebanon did in that last round. But is it really going to work out as nicely? I don't think so. And this A pressure, St. Clair just can't stop right now. Uh, the marshals, the marshals, the marshals. Good and stage well, but instantly going to get shot down. Wombat though, Stinger could find some shots. Doesn't get any clean up, but he does there now. The Stinger going to work out in his favor. He does peek off another. Yes, he does! Oh my god, picks up a Vandal for himself, spots out another, can't clean it up, Reliable and John Cook find a couple frags, but JRC comes through, he's a demon with the Sheriff in his hands, now a 2 on 2, health in favor of St. Clair, and positioning, look at Casper, oh my gosh, Casper, oh he had to shoot there, so now they know Casper's location, they don't know Blossom yet, Blossom gonna give up that angle, tough there for him to give that one up, but he's gotta shoot this one out, Reliable gonna be able to get a plant off, Casper, Getting through a little bit of utility. Spots out one. Can he get the frag? Not yet. This is big. They need this player on the left. Casper finds it. Now last one going to be behind Pyramid. Blossom didn't spot him out, but now he does. Tries to get the headshot, but no. It's a Marshall versus Op. Only one bullet for Blossom. And it's a half health jet. And he cleans it up with the classic. Blossom keeping St. Clair in this one. Three to one is the score line we see now. The power of right click, man. Wow. Like I'm telling you. And that was a thrifty. And they get an op to pick up. That's big. If that op doesn't go to JRC, I don't know. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please, answering my prayers. Wait. He gave it to Casper. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. Actually, I don't mind that as well. As l I didn't actually didn't even realize Casper was on Sky. I didn't realize St. Clair had two healers. Um, but yeah, Casper and Vcan are both going to be the healers for St. Clair here in this one. And it's, I think it's smart to give the op to one of them, actually, now thinking back about it twice, because you want that player to play slower. You want them to be back there for heals and whatnot. So to see Casper on it, not too upset by that by any means or anything along those lines. Great wall here. Now it's going to be Claude pulling out his drone, so they will not get an opportunity to shoot this wall down here early.
I feel like the AWP doesn't matter who, who it goes to as long as it's either mid or in this situation. If you're Wombat, you gotta win those ones there uh, against Reliable. Tough gunfight to lose down towards mid. Now at a player disadvantage, it's gonna be hard to answer back. Yes, you do have one of these players weak already, uh, but they have a Sky here for Lebanon to heal him up. Yeah, it's gonna be very difficult to get it back, even though it's a 4v5 for Sinclair. JRC, big knives picked though, now gonna even up us to a 4 on 4, and Casper with the AWP, that's what we like to see. And a Jet Dash with some knives, trying to find something, he does get intel, lots of it, he does spot two players out towards attacking side spawn. John Cook will find one though to even us up into a 3 on 3, but JRC answers right back and cleans up next on the Viper. 3 on 2, all up to their Sky and Reyna here, as we do see JRC and Casper, Casper healing up JRC, does some big plays there, but John Cook in mid could cause mayhem here, he finds one, instantly makes it out with his life, he's on a Reyna alt here as well. Uh, this could be a little bit of a difficult situation for St. Clair to have to deal with here now, but aggressive AWP play, not gonna work out for Casper, the Viper, uh, the Viper little, like, Molotov type thing there, gonna clean him up, and now, honestly, I don't see a World War Blossom can win this one, too. I mean, honestly, as long as he tries to get the AWP, I'd say. Spots the head of I don't know who. Now, does get the AWP, he's out with his life, and he's gone. Okay. Not the end of the world. The score line is what's concerning right now. Lebanon having four, St. Clair at one. A little bit of a worrisome situation, but I think they should be okay. I just think also that St. Clair probably should force up this round to buy around the op and, uh, you know, try to close in this gap a little bit. I think we should see a force buy from the Saints in this next round. Personally, right now, I want to see JRC on the op. I've been waiting. I, I, I've been in suspense. I just want to, I just want to see him, you know? <laughs> 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 All right, we'll go over to the other room then, Donka. <laughs> you know, you know what, buy it. <laughs> All right, so Casper gonna have that off. We will see JRC buy up the Vandal here. Now, I would love to see them force by around it. I know I was saying that already, and I really hope it's the case. Other than just JRC buying a Vandal, I don't know. I think a force by something that you gotta take the risk on right now. They're trying to play a little bit safe, but it's not working out for them as they're down by three right now to Lebanon and. See how things get turned around. A lot of this is also just shutting down John Cook. John Cook's been having a lot of, like, close 1v1s that he's been winning and stuff like that, too. Where it makes it very difficult for St. Clair to win something out here. It's going to be the dog around the corner. But it's going to be Casper answering right back with one of his own. Says, hey, I can do that, too. Maybe a share of pick. No, John Cook going to clean up Blossom. JRC on a big flank, though. He's already in attacking side at spawn. St. Clair's been consistently sending someone on the flank. It's been working sometimes, but sometimes it just draws off, like, their defense on the initial site, and it hurts them. Like, Casper, gonna lose his life there as part of this. Is He really wishes somebody had his back, uh, like, wombatting them, but which wasn't able to work out for him. Now he's gonna get a swing around these jet smokes. Not gonna be able to find anything. John Cook gonna take down VCAN in the process, and no shots from connecting from Wombat. Uh, so, honestly, uh, this one looks like Lebanon's round to win. Yeah, especially that they have Viper Spit on B already, and they have the Spike planted there. Yeah, now a one on five. Uh, it, it, we should see JRC just try to find like a pick or completely fall off. And it looks like he's going for the option number one to try to find a pick. He spots out two players. He doesn't want to take a full commit on it as of quite yet. Lines up two. That's a good start. But he will get shot out in the back from I don't know who and lose his life. He does decent job impacting Lebanon's economy there and building up some of his own. But that's completely doesn't matter at this point in time. We need, need, need to see a round go in the favor of St. Clair. And it has to be this one. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, if St. Clair doesn't win this round, my prediction is just Lebanon Valley wins this game, right? And honestly, if it just comes down to St. Clair winning this round. This round's so big. Because if they lose this round, they also don't have money. So, uh, big round, indeed. Guardian going to come through from Blossom. Other four going to have Vandals. And the armor, not really ideal either. So... I don't know, Donka. Any predictions on this round? Uh, I want to say SEC takes this one. Oh, good pick from Wombat to start us off there with his ult. And he will spot out another as well, being John Cook. John Cook will get traded from JRC. JRC finds two. This is St. Clair's round to win now in a four on two. Up to Ninx and their jet. Can't remember exactly who their jet is, but reliable. Yeah, so four on two. Reliable will connect on one with the off. Taking down VCAN. VCAN getting a little bit too aggressive over here towards Pyramids. It will open up this site for Nyx to walk in. Yeah, JRC is like, uh, I, I, hear, I heard them plan. I don't know what they're oh, going to do. He rushes the opper, but loses his life in result. Now a 2v2. Health in favor of St. Clair. So this is very, very win. Wow. Wow. Uh, that you, like, man, I think that turns St. Clair's morale so far down 
that I, I don't I'm kind of scared that this game isn't really like obviously it's winnable but I'm really scared right now that this game is like gonna go south real quick like if St. Clair like drops like I don't even know man I don't even know it's just such a tough situation right now that we're in um St. Clair it need something, but yet again, gonna be on a save. I bet you the communication morale is just not really there for them right now, too. And it just makes things even more consistently harder. I feel like that they're gonna do better in attacking. Uh, well, <laughs> let's see if we can get there first, because <laughs> I know we're guaranteed to get there. Um, but can we get there at a reasonable scoreline? That's the situation. I, I completely agree. I think St. Clair will have a much better opportunity on attack. I think attacking is a lot easier just because these teams are both not very experienced on Breeze. Vkan should not be losing gunfights like that. And John Cook gonna cook him up there for that one. And now it's gonna be a 5 on 2 John Cook finds a 3k already in this round. He's on pace for an ace. Uh, that's the thing. John Cook, they, he can't get stopped on the Reino duels right now. He's entering every site, shutting things down, and just makes it next to impossible for St. Clair to answer back on these retakes. And Claude is here with the Odin. Gets Wombat. Yeah, JRC last alive here. Gonna have a Vandal to work with. I, 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 and like, at this point of time, like, economy's terrible. Brown count's terrible. I mean, you just, it's hard to bounce out of this loop, and I don't know if they were gonna be able to. Like, I feel like you, they okay, need a good think, win. They do. They need like a flawless round win here, and then tack it on. Like, need to win rounds in a row. That's the biggest thing. Like, we or, honestly there's more than one round because um, if, if they can get like two rounds in a row right here, put this to like seven three, maybe three in a row, seven four. Like, that would be perfect going into half. Seven four, seven three, uh... or even like an eight four half would be okay for the Saints. I feel like would be all right if they go eight four half. I feel like if they go three nine, that would be good too. Yeah, you know what? That, that would be not bad. A little bit harder to work with, but yeah, definitely an option. Reliable, trying to find an op up here, but will be walled off from VCAN Sage Wall. Going to force him to drop down the chute, but it doesn't look like he wants to make that risky kill. And it's going to now be side of St. Clair. Trying to play off of the site here a little bit. Casper. Coming through, we'll find one on the Reina. John Cook out of this round's massive for the Saints here now for this one. Five on four player advantage. This might be the start of a little bit of a turnaround for the Saints, but we'll see. As it does look like Lebanon pushing a lot of mid here. Casper not able to connect on his shots and will fall off a little bit. Vikan also has his ult in case of one of his teammates go down. And oh, Jet true. also uses uh, her Blade Storm. Yeah, uh, JRC, yeah. Like you were saying, I mean, there's a lot options still here in favor of St. Clair to try to do something in this round. But there's a lot of players in Tube as well. And honestly, the pressure towards Tube isn't drastic really right now. Like, VCAN's back there watching behind his wall, but they could quickly get through his wall, get through VCAN, and next thing you know, it completely changes up the presence. His wall's actually gone now because of time. And 30 seconds remaining in this round. Uh, let's see what happens. That is the op from Reliable to put us into a 4-4. Four four. The Sage down. Guess what? That also means his res is gone. That changes everything. JRC finds one with his nice, nice pick there on the Claude, but is forced to fall off here now and play as Sheriff and ult it kind of in a tough situation stuck behind boxes he's gonna lose his life now both the ults are gone for St. Clair um, if they lose this round like please man no Wombat gonna find Reliable Wombat finds another Casper now trying to do something in a 2 on 1 against this Viper it's gonna be Nyx here stuck behind Pyramid St. Clair has lost a couple rounds here due to these Pyramid plays before they desperately need to close this one up. They know exactly where Nyx is located. A smoke is through there to try to block off this cross a little bit. And now Wombat coming through here. He's got, like, time's of the essence. This is the biggest thing right now is time. Viper is low HP. Okay, he wins these. That, that's enough time. So, St. Clair able to pick up a second. Great stuff there from Wombat, getting a 3k. But is that what it's going to take for St. Clair to get round wins? Is Wombat 3 k Like, that's the thing. Um, that makes me a little bit concerned as of now. Odin are going to be recovered there for Let's Wombat the as well. Area. So it does look like St. Clair deciding to play that one off. And Vikan, he's having a rough game watching Tube with the Sage. 1-9. Uh, really hoping he can turn things around here soon. But I feel like if you're Vikan right now, you're just upset because of, like, the position you're playing, right? Like, he's playing Tube. And I feel like he's just having a really tough time trying to wrap around and, like, play off of kills after rotating off of Tube. Um, he's finding a really tough time doing that. I think that VKN will really be able to turn up a little bit more on the offense. Yeah, as we can see right now, I believe Casper is going to be holding tube for now. Yeah, we'll see, but 
St. Clair now trailing by five. If they can pick up a few rounds here, that'd be big. But now V can now going to switch over to this position. This is what I'd like to see. This is where I play Sage on Breeze. I just put the wall the other way and peek mid though, because that's fun. But <laughs> <laughs> anyways, V can going to have a better angle here to hold, and he will find that one on a John Cook. Can he find another? No, the reload is just detrimental timing. But he's still almost on the frag. Nix will get tagged down to like one HP essentially. Oh no way, he finds another JRC's got to be able to get those trades off. But Nix going to get a nice headshot with his Vandal cleans up another and a third. You have to shut Nix down man that's gonna be casper now playing off this angle finds one he does have an opera to his left he knows it's the opera i think and they're gonna force him out here they're not into spinning casper to get so aggressive on him now the jet gonna get cleaned up 2v2 how does this one get played through we'll find out in just a second nix will be getting healed from his teammate because he does have that sky there so both teams have a sky as of now helps out the sova and viper but this run to a they're gonna have a free plant and it's gonna be st Clair once again playing retakes on a uh, a is so oh, deadly right now, especially with alt. Fire Pit. Yeah, that alt is going to change a lot here now, um, making it even more difficult. The Odin is very big to have against the Viper alt, though. I'll tell you that right now. And we do actually see... Okay, okay. So we do see Wombat come through here, but I don't know who on the sky doesn't quite spot him. And the Odin's able to do it! What a great play! The Sova Dart might pick something up. They get a tag through the Viper smoke. And this is very, very winnable. Casper, though, gonna get shot in the back. They know exactly where this player is located. He's trying to find the Odin spray through the smoke, but he can't deal this. 4K for the Viper. On pace for an ace. Smoke is going down. Doesn't matter. Nyx picks up an ace. Wombat jumps into the Molotov. And that's the benefit of having a Viper ult. And that's a fifth for Lebanon. That was a must-win round for the Saints that they dropped there. This has uh, been a tough series so far for the St. Clair Saints. Uh, I mean, I, I want to see St. Clair. I, I want to see them to do this ultimate comeback. They were like, ah, nah, we got you guys. Now nah, we're coming back. But, you know, yeah, ultimately, it's very difficult. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah, very difficult. Very, very difficult to pull off. Like at this point in time, being trailing by six, the God turned things around. JRC having a great game for himself here right now. And uh, Wamba playing pretty well as well. So as long as they can keep themselves in the loop, maybe keep doing what they're doing, seeing if the rest of the guys can get a little bit more comfortable going into offense. We could see things get turned around here a little bit reliable. It's just in such a cheeky spot. It's going to benefit them. And actually doesn't able to come away with the kill there on that one, surprisingly. And will get fragged out from Blossom. Now a four on four as Claude does find one though. Now putting it to a four on three. Now a four on two. Now a three on two as it is in favor of Lebanon Valley. Ooh, JRC tagged down to 6 p.m. 6 p.m. <laughs> that isn't the time, <laughs> my friend. But no, he's going to be down to 6 HP. And he is now going to be... Oh, just on the outside of that shock dart, keeping his life. But he will get spotted out and fragged down. All up to the Viper here now from Blossom. Hey, last round, Lebanon Valley's Viper had an ace. So let's see if Blossom can turn up here and find a few frags of his own. But it's not going to be easy. John Cook going to be the first one there. Finds it. He does get the intel on Nyx as well. So he will molly him off that position a little bit. Gonna wrap through, but not a lot of time to work with. Blossom's gotta move a little bit quicker than what he's moving at right now. Swings around, can't find this player as he did rotate off, and Nyx is keeping his life just barely, oh, barely right now. Blossom gets his cross, he spots out one. Nyx is still here playing for it, but Claude cleans it up with the Odin. He's getting a gift wrapped up. Merry Christmas, everyone, and sent away. And it's now going to be 9-2 lead for Lebanon Valley. Last round of half, and this is a must-win round for St. Clair. I'm, I haven't really said must-win round crazy amount throughout the series. I've been trying to hold myself back from it. But this is this is a must-win round for St. Clair at this point in time. I'm going to be completely honest. No, I completely agree. I mean, especially that last round, uh, the SEC was also saving. Yeah. So. Yeah, <sighs> so. Four Vandals and a Phantom. If you're going to win around, this is the one to do it. You have full armor on three players, light armor on two, a little bit of money left over just in case. And this is your time to shine here, my friends. Let's see how this one gets played through. St. Clair currently trailing by seven as we head into the last round of half. Good utility to start us off there for St. Clair on the alt. But it will not tag down anybody. I feel like they know that they're 100% going A, especially with Casper uh, pushing up mid so far. Yeah, well, JRC's got his great cutoff, so they're not really going to send off a crazy amount of rotations until JRC calls out, hey, guys, they're actually through now. They're actually committing. Um, but as of now, it does look like we do actually see the side of Lebanon rotating off here a little bit, and Claude going to get benefited as he does pick off Casper with his Odin through bottom mid. Vcan has a lot of plays to make here, cutting off the cross. 
John Cook is also still in good positioning. V can finds one on a reliable there, so there's a good pick to find for yourself. And it's now a four on four, but John Cook takes down Blossom, putting it to a four on three. St. Clair got to play from a player disadvantage, but JRC getting aggressive, going to catch them off guard. Finds one there, turns around, might find another here in just a second. He's getting a flashed out, sends through a smoke, but turns around, almost finds it. No, V can going to res up Casper in mid, and now it's going to be a back to a three on three, but they know that two players are near that mid area because of this. They got to worry about Wombat. V can comes through from mid. He's trying to find something. Left. But there's also the Reyna back here. But he's going to get spotted out. John Cook and Wombat get into a tussle. Going to be traded out from V can. 2v2 retake on sites now. Good and slow. Going to slow them down on the force out. V can finds one. Nick stuck back there. He reloads before the peak. And it benefits Lebanon Valley. Now going to be a 10 to 2 half. St. Clair. They were pretty confident on their breeze. You know, they they might not have played it yet as a competitive set, but it does come through here now, and it did punish them. You can see the morale, obviously, not in high spirits here right now for the side of St. Clair. And as they trail by eight at half, uh, Lebanon Valley only need three. Well, St. Clair need 11, and that is exactly why the morale is not doing so hot right now. Nitrix, no, uh, Nitrix. <laughs> uh, Nix, he's doing very great right now. He's, he's always been able to clutch. He's always been able to be like the last man alive, plus gets the last kill and secures the dub for them. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really been everybody from, I, I, I got to give props where it's due, right? Lebanon Valley, everybody has stepped up and everybody's made plays when they've needed to. Um, I, I really like how this Lebanon roster is playing right now, and you can tell, like, I was talking to the players in between maps 2 and 3, right? They know Lebanon Valley watches tons of VOD, does tons of practice per the team they're playing, and that's what's making them win this game right now, I'm going to be completely honest. Yes, there might not be that many VODs of St. Clair Breeze, but there is still just VODs in general and how St. Clair generally plays mechanically, and um, I think Lebanon Valley, Lebanon Valley is really punishing them for it. Yes, now we see that Jet, or JRC, is just pushing back through their spawn looking for any stranglers just yeah casper big picks there and that actually is gonna be another one for vcan some great lineups there for vcan and casper to shut down that push one and it looks like st Clair will be able to pick up the pistol here mm. nix he's the last player alive to try to get a defuse off here and i don't think he's gonna be able to do it maybe another ace <laughs> maybe another ace quick yeah he's got to kill all five real quick and a defuse but no flawless round start off for st Clair. that's what they needed to put themselves back into it, but still a long, long way to go, my friends. Uh, they they need another another round just so they just you know they need get another that streak. round just like that. Yeah, um, they need a flawless round right here. To be honest, once again, to just keep building that economy, keep building that momentum, and putting themselves back in it, hype up the boys. What I can guarantee you, Strider is back over there right now, saying, "Come on, guys, you got this. You're still in this. Let's go hang in there, win these. Yeah. Let's go. You guys are better. What not? Whatever it is. Um, actually, I don't know if he's actually even allowed to talk during games. He's probably not saying that. Never mind. But you know what he's thinking. You know he's thinking it. So like, you just hope." that St. Clair can keep that morale and momentum there. Big flash! That's four flash! you got to capitalize on that. John Cook gonna come through. Blossom and Wombat find some frags. This is mayhem. Four on two for St. Clair. And it's another pick almost coming through. John Cook goes down. And there's one for VKN. The attacking side gonna clean up that one. Only losing a player. Really good stuff there from the Saints. To now put the scoreline at 10-4. Much closer than it was at before. Yeah, VKN Vken is actually cracked with the marshal. He just got two kills that, like last round. And like... Going back to the marshal, like no matter what you do, it's like if you use a marshal against like ARs, you're still able to win. Yes, yeah, so we're giving a little bit of a replay here on this one. All the dramatic events that happened. John Cook opens up some of the frenzy. Blossom and Wombat answer back from the back lines here now. And then it's going to be JRC just dashing away, keeping his life. And then they swing around and they clean up the final two players there. Nice little instant replay to just recap on those highlight moments in these rounds. And... That was really a big highlight moment for sure in that round. So Nyx spots out some players early. Does find a frag on a Wombat, but will get refrag from JRC. Full sight control in favor of the Saints. VCAN and JRC find another there on the back lines to put a four on three player advantage in favor of St. Clair. But Reliable going to take down VCAN. No heal now for, or sorry, no Sage now for the side of St. Clair. But it's all up to the sky for Lebanon. It's a three on one, and this is St. Clair's round to win. I think they know where uh, Ion Who is. Yeah, they do get one. Ionu almost found Blossom there, but will get cleaned up. I love the gift wrap. It really matches the festive season. How, oh, yeah. how much do you think we got to pay Dan to put Christmas music on during in intros and outros in November? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, a little did you guys see, but he was just instantly looked like he wanted to throw up or something. Yep. But yeah, it is going to be St. Clair. Now, 
down by five. Much better than the, what it looked like three rounds ago. St. Clair going to be in a pretty good positioning here now to, you know, try to get something going because they're racking up a good econ for themselves. They shut down Lebanon Valleys. Lebanon is now forced on a Stingers, Marshalls, Sheriffs, things that you don't really want to use, uh, like preferably as your first choice. So St. Clair is in a good spot to pick up a six. And when they pick up a six, like I'm considering them right back into the swing of things. I'm already concerned them back into it right oh, now. Oh, for sure, for sure. Especially Blossom opening things up in this round. They got to clear out this last player. They do, so Blossom, great stuff. It looks like this attacking side is looking a lot more cleaner and organized than the defending side. And I think that that just comes with the experience on this map is so low between both teams that it's easier just to orchestrate like a push than it is a defense. Yeah, I feel like both teams, when, they, when it comes to attacking, their Viper is really, you know... So they have the intel that there's a marshal in two, and that is at least one of the three players there. So now they only have to worry about two others, and two of them are actually two. I don't know why you're peeking that, to be honest. No need necessary there to peek that. You can just keep them on marshals and call it a day. But no, they will be peeking that. Casper is going to shut down Claude, though, in the process. But Nick's going to shut that door right on that one. No coming through there. John Cook going to find JRC with a Vandal and maybe another. But Casper going to shut him down, leaving it all up to Nick's. And Nick's is most likely going to grab a Vandal and head out of here with his life. But no, he runs into a player. But Nick's does actually clean up VK in there and no trades. Nick's, some very big post-plant games. Or sorry, not post-plant, like post-regular time round i guess <laughs> whatever you want to call it <laughs> yeah and that game uh, and this whole game this whole breeze game jrc has been closing the doors of every door that was been that has been opening like yeah. he's just he's just waiting on the stairs like okay you're opening this door nope Goodbye. i'm gonna close it <laughs> <laughs> not happening today we're closed sorry not open for business but uh anyways st Clair down by four here now they've won four in a row so for them to look at things, for me, I look at it this way. You were down 10-2 a second ago. Now you're down 10-6. You're halfway there to evening out the scoreline. You just got to do it again. Do that same thing you just did in the last four rounds once more. And then it's a 10-10 game and anybody's game to win at that point. Um, Lebanon, they will be on a buy round here. So if St. Clair does shut down Lebanon on this round, I think that they will follow it up with another round one after that as well. Great stuff to get onto the site early. Blossom will pick off Claude as well. So, and Casper also finding Iona and also Blossom finding John Cook. This is a great start to St. Clair and they're looking for another flawless round. Yeah, it's been great for them so far. Reli Reliable gets a kill on Wombat with the up, but still goes down to 10, H 10 HP. JRC trying to bait out a shot here, but he does dash, shoot through the box, 200 IQ plays there. Nyx, gonna be the last player alive, the Viper, stuck in this like kind of elbow area over here towards B. Uh, there's really no absolute shot that he wins this round. Uh, he's essentially just playing for his life, playing for his gun, and just playing for exit frags at this point in time. So, it's gonna be St. Clair, down, down only by three, and I feel like this is a surprise to all of the guys on the production team right now. Um, and I, I assume for most of you guys viewers at home, because... Like, obviously, we're all here. We, majority of us, most likely Saints, you know, fans or go to St. Clair or whatever. A completely unbiased cast, by the way, anyways. But it is <laughs> going to be like most of us. Yeah, St. Clair fans and whatnot. We actually do see a timeout come through from Lebanon Valley. And I'm very excited that we see a timeout. Uh, that makes me very proud of Lebanon to understand that, hey, let's slow it down, talk about things, calm momentum down, and just get things kind of organ straight in. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, it is going to be. Very, very smart timeouts there, and a very big comeback from St. Clair. Now five unanswered. All right. What do, you, what do you think is going through Lebanon's mind right now? What do you think they're talking about right now? Oh, just to calm down, play things slow, play off your picks, and just try to get something a little bit more organized. They're going to switch up some players' locations, I bet you. They're going to maybe just, like, organize something more. Like, talk... There, it, this is mainly just for talking to just get all your comms done in one shot and just actually get things smoothed out or honestly i, I might be overthinking it and it, maybe one of the players on the side of lebanon had to go like take a pee or something right like i could be <laughs> overthinking in that regard um but no we are going to see a timeout come through i'm excited to see that for lebanon because it does give them the option to calm down talk things over and get things resettled they are still having a three round lead here so they're still plenty of opportunity for lebanon to win this game um it's just this is getting a little bit concerned yeah, I'm I'm totally with you on this. And as we were able to see in the timeout, like even Strider, he was like, "Okay, guys, so keep keep this going. We got this. Easy." Just he was just motivating them. Yeah, for sure. Strider doing a great job of that here. And uh, also, just I actually are coaches allowed to talk during those timeout plays? Timeout, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, well, you know, assuming yes. <laughs> 
I don't know, because I, I know that there's been a lot of esports lately, a lot of controversy I about coaches and uh, their, what they should be allowed to do and what they shouldn't be allowed to do lately in the scene. So, pretty interesting to see. But Casper going to open us up here on this round. And they're going to be searching for an eighth as VCAM finds one as well. Now a five on three in favor of St. Clair. This bomb is already down too, but Reliable going to find one. VCAM answers back with one of his own on a John Cook. And Reliable finds another. Claude here with the Stinger and all Reliable with his Jet Knives. They're trying to win this one off here. It's a two on three. Very, very, very winnable. But VCAM going to shut down that player. Now leaving it all up to the Sova and the Stinger. And this will not be too easy at all. He actually had a Vandal there, surprisingly. But Claude going to shut down. And I don't know if you picked up on that, but... I just saw Claude with the Vandal there, and he looked extremely uncomfortable with that Vandal in his hand. Like, actually, like, extremely, extremely, extremely uncomfortable with that Vandal in his hand. And I think that is why we see these Odin and Ares on him. I, I, I would love to see, like, Claude's, like, tryout footage. Like, they go in the tryout, and everyone else in this that he's, like, trying out against or something like that. All using, like, phantoms and stuff. Claude comes through. No, no worries, guys. <laughs> pulls out the Odin or whatnot. Yeah, like, because, like, honestly, like, like I just said, you, he pulls out the Vandal, seems very uncomfortable. And that kind of makes him, like, a one-trick, one-of-wonder kind of thing, maybe, with those light machine guns. It could be just a sub, too. Like, oh! V-Can gonna get shut down with a big op pick from Reliable. The Jet Op, we've talked about it so much on how good it is. And uh, they're really benefit benefiting it on it here. As Reliable, Claude, they, they've gotten two Odin, or two op kills and an Odin kill in this round. Put this now to a two on three in favor of Lebanon Valley. Great shock dart there, but it will not gather any intel. Now, Bomb goes down and Blossom also has his Viper ult. So great stuff there to really limit the capabilities from these Odins and ops. Yeah, that, that was really close with the Odin or with the op. That was really close. Way too close for comfort. Oh, Blossom spotted one to his right, but he also knows there's one to his left. He spots one up to his left. He wins that one off. Now a 2v2 and Blossom falls off with his life. Because Wombat finds one as well. These are great plays coming through from the Saints. They peek through. Blossom finds it. Despite losing two players at the beginning of the round, St. Clair turns things around and wins that round. Honestly, what were we looking at earlier? 10-2? 10-2 was the scoreline we were looking at earlier? Look at the scoreline we see in front of us now. Honestly, with that being said, the scoreline that we see here now in result, I'm going to have to say St. Clair wins this game. Like, I, I I might be too early to call it in Caster's Curse, so I'm going to knock on wood. I, I'm going to make sure. I'm covering all my sounds and boundaries there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, St. Clair has money, have momentum, and they're on the attacking side. And by the looks of it, attacking side is a huge favorite uh, because there's only been two rounds. One on the defending side. Or wait, no, I com I'm completely wrong. I'm completely wrong. Don't disregard the last <laughs> 20 seconds I said. I was misreading the footage, but John Cook opens us up on a Blossom here now. Four on four as two early picks come through, but John Cook should not have been able to find another, and he got his dismissal off, so Ion is able to get that. But he is gonna be stunned out, and JRC is able to clean him up in result of that stun, but Ion, once again, able to get a trade. Ion been playing phenomenally on this period. Nyx gonna find one with his Marshal. This is a concern, especially for St. Clair, and he is stunned back here in the back line. Nobody pushes him out yet, so it is good news there for him. But there's still tons of time for the side of Lebanon to work with here. And Reliable on a Frenzy flank, gonna clean it up, and Lebanon gonna pick him an 11. Now, this changes a lot, because I was very much so anticipating St. Clair to come through the round win there, to be completely honest. Uh, and expect to see a 10-10, maybe Lebanon winning that round at 10-10, but that was a very big, and I think that, was that a not a thrifty? Okay, I thought it was a little bit of a thrifty too, but no. Lebanon closing that one up, and uh, they're going to be leading by two here now, but St. Clair doing a really good job still. And the benefit of St. Clair winning so many rounds in a row is the fact that they can still buy here, and they can still buy well. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you, like... It's it's very difficult, like pull, pulling from two to ten or three to ten or whatever the score was. It's very very difficult, and the fact that they did it, and the fact that they're still uh, their coach is like, okay guys, we got this. Like it's still in it, you know? Yeah, for sure. So all things that we like to see as of now and. St. Clair, once again, going to be focusing off this A site. It seems like it's been working out well there for the most of the time. Did not work out as much as you'd like to see last time around. But here we are. New round, clean slate for everybody. And we are going to be playing off of it here. VCAN going to be pushing up mid. Could potentially find someone on the cross. Yes, he will. But John Cook going to cook him up and get the best of him there. As he will get traded out, though, from Casper in the back lines. The spikes retrieved. It's a four on three in favor of St. Clair. And uh, they have the spike. So I'd say St. Clair had a big upper hand in this round. Yeah, it looks like they're also they might be going B. Uh, only Jet from the Lebanon side is B. Decent bit of intel revealed that, hey, there's not a ton of players just around hanging around A main quite openly. 
Uh, but this AWP gonna find one JRC, gonna take down Claude in the process though, so we still do maintain a player advantage for the side of St. Clair, and the AWP are gonna get completely smoked off here now, allowing our cross to come through, but no! The Jet decides to go up and will find that Jet pick, which is huge, but Casper comes on the wraparound, finds one there. So very good stuff there. Now leaving it all up to Lebanon Valley's Viper, and he knows that he's mid now, so that is gonna be Casper deciding to swing out a little bit, but will flat I think flashed himself, and now will ultimately retreat. This bomb's down, they can both just regroup on site, play off it and play off trades, play off trades and whatnot. So uh, let's see how this one comes through. But St. Clair, I, I'm going to be shocked if they lose this round. Casper does pick up the op too. So this is going to be very interesting. Well, I think the op is just beneficial to have a general. Maybe wait till after the round to scoop it up. Uh, but it doesn't even look like Nyx is going to attempt to go for this even. This is going to be a full on save by him. And uh, we'll, oh, Blossom actually spots out where Nyx is headed. And they might be able to get a cutoff here. Casper just holding this angle, I think. Oh, 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 <laughs> Casper and Nyx getting into a little tussle on the back line, but no Blossom comes through from behind. Matter of seconds left, Casper drops Nyx D in chat, and wow, Casper was just the worm, and Blossom was the hook. That will be Lebanon Valley dropping one there to St. Clair, now 11 to 10. This is, this is a great season finale series here like especially the game three like look at this round st Clair and lebanon valley getting absolutely into it here yeah. and uh it's actually going to be st Clair at a huge upper hand because yeah. claude is forced onto an aries rather than his ideal weapon and reliable is forced up onto a classic here he will pull out knives though mind you he will be able to do that um and that so john cook and reliable really open things up a little bit here and it's a very aggressive rush as these players do make their way up too but they do get cut off v can tries to get a res off but blossom able to trade something out john cook is a big concern here right now though and john cook finds one and a dismissal the dismissal is what's so big on that play and now at this point in time st Clair is just gonna get shut down in their tracks lebanon valley advance themselves to match point st Clair have to win two in a row now to force an ot the best defense is in offense, like I've always <laughs> said, and you can see it right there. It's yeah. right in the footage. <laughs> well, because St. Clair's not going to anticipate that by any means, right? You see three players sit there and are all there, and you're just not going to anticipate a rush like that come through. It catches you very much so off guard, and it results in you getting cleaned up in Lebanon Valley, advancing to match point. Now, I will give you, Lebanon Valley, they're confidence for that is kind of crazy because usually you see teams that are you know it's 11 to 10 game are you really going to risk it by just full on rushing into a cave yes <laughs> for Lebanon <laughs> yes <laughs> so they do it and it works out you're going to really catch off St. Clair off guard and that's what really won them that gunfight is catching St. Clair in a bad time it looks like that they're also pushing through mid and through spawn they're yeah. not waiting. I don't know how I feel about the util coming up from VK in there. Um, as Nyx will make it out with his life. No, Blossom. Great mollies there, but Ion will find one Wombat with a refrag. Now a three on three. This is coming down to it. This is like literally St. Clair's regular season run right here. Coming all down to this. This bomb is down and there's a Viper ult. JRC will get a dash in, but Reliable cleans him up. Wombat and Blossom find two of their own though. Leaving it all up to the Jet. Being Reliable. He has an idea of where they are, but so do both of the Saints. Wombat's weak. Blossom still up here towards the edge of this one. Reliable finds one by one. Blossom cleans it up. St. Clair picks up an 11th, and they will only need one more to force an OT. That was an amazing shot from Reliable. Yeah. He, he was midair, and he just sprayed and prayed. Yeah. I, I, honestly, that's what you have to do in that situation, to be completely honest. Um, I think, honestly, continuing that spray and just kind of going all around might have been a little bit more beneficial there, as the other player was weak as well. But... Overall, St. Clair going to pick up another there. Now only trailing by one. And obviously, this is a must-win round. Um, so let's see if we're going to see it overtime. Do you think we see an overtime here, Donka? I think we do. I think we definitely do. Just considering the fact that Lebanon has two Spectres and an Ares, will like kind of like... Oh, and it's a B-push! For like the first time in a long time. And it's actually going to be Lebanon actually pushing out everywhere else. And Casper might be able to catch someone on a rotation here. Oh no. Casper didn't see him, but he saw Casper. Yeah, and Casper, I think he has an idea that there could be someone still flanking or... Yeah, there is the idea there. This is going to be very interesting. A lot of this round is going to come down to timing, I think. Uh, timing is going to be big on this round. Bomb's already down, so time is a variable that affects Lebanon more. And John Cook going down going to be huge for Casper, picking up one already. But Nick's going to be completely smoked off and vipered off back here. Ion finds one. V King getting a refrag though. 
Now it's going to be Reliable trying to push through, but he will get shot down as well from Blossom. So it's a three on two in favor of St. Clair at this point in time. Still Claude and Co. are pushing through the back lines of the site. We get some intel there onto Blossom. JRC finds one. Trades come through. Claude here with an Ares gets shut down and we're going to OT after being down 10-2 at half. St. Clair is going to send us to OT. 10-2 halves for each side here. And now... It is going to be uh, whoever can win two in a row quicker. This whole game, after ha after the second half, us commentators have been just right on the edge of the seat. It's so scary. Yo, for sure. And you <laughs> can only imagine for the players, right? St. Clair, like, obviously the pressure is there. The, 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 uh, the heart, like, you know, like, the, the, the tenseness is there. But for Lebanon Valley, it's astronomically through the roof higher because lebanon essentially is still very much in the like like everybody kind of is assuming that lebanon has to win this series at least two to one to make play at least just win this series to make playoffs if they lose this series they're most likely not making playoffs and everybody knows that that's the storyline of the game so to really see st Clair forces to overtime after being down 10 to a half uh, is probably getting lebanon valley very very concerned and i think it might have an impact on their game yeah, no, I totally agree with that. It looks like that they're all going to be going B, but Jet is just going to hold off, looking for any flankers, looking for anyone that would just rush in and die. Yeah, Wombat, I, like, I, I'm very surprised. It didn't seem, like, it thought, like, that nobody was there or something, um, but he is just getting it cut off in his tracks. Now, this is full sight in favor of Lebanon, and at this point in time, I honestly see Lebanon winning this round now with those two early picks and getting a plant down. Gonna make things very hard to answer back unless Casper could have found two there, but no, he's gonna get traded out. JRC gonna be searching for Reliable up here in mid, but Reliable's kind of got an idea of what's going on too. I don't think they do. No, Reliable does. Yeah, Reliable had the idea of what was kind of going on there, um, but essentially it, it's still just JRC left, so uh, they're all just going to be playing their post plans, playing it slow, not giving JRC this round when they really shouldn't be anyways, so good stuff there from the set of Lebanon Valley. Got to give them props for that, and it's now going to put us into a situation where Lebanon is on match point once again, where St. Clair is in an, another must-win round case scenario. Oh, this is really close. Oh, he finds the picks, but it doesn't matter. Like, none of this really yeah. matters at this point in time. Because economy is going to get reset in just a second anyways, too. So, here we go. Lebanon pick up the first of overtime. Now, time for St. Clair to try to answer back their own. You know what I think we're about to see here, Donka? I think we're about to see, like, a 16-17 round overtime. I'm going to be completely honest. I think it's going to be consistently the attacking side winning rounds. Um, I think the trend's going to continue until we see some... Ver like, until some team wins a defending side... Or, sorry. Wins a... On. Defending sided. Yeah, defending sided round or something. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of these attacking sides get shut down. Um, but hey, St. Clair, here we go. Now, going to be trying to get this one going. I don't know if you remember, but a couple, couple of games ago that we have streamed, that we, we got debated. We got 38. Th we thought it was a 38-38 yeah. match. Oh, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> This is going to happen well. right now. <laughs> I remember very well. Casper, though, in a tough spot. Going to get picked off early from John Cook now. Casper is probably pretty upset about that because that might just put him out of the rest of this game unless uh, his teammates can clutch up. And that's probably got to be a concern for Casper. Just, you know, having to put all the faith in his teammates. Vcan though, going to take down Charon Cook. A nice trade. Wombat finds one on Ion as well. And Wombat another onto Claude. So four on two in favor of St. Clair here now. And it looks like we might be going to another set of overtime. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely believe that. Yeah, this bomb going to be ticking off here. Reliable, yeah, he will find one, but not going to mean a whole lot now. 2v1, Nyx, really no time to kind of make this one work. And it's going to be St. Clair looking to take this round. 13-13, heading into the overtime once again. Now first to 15. It's like this next round. If, if SCC overtime. wins it, it will put... Uh, Lebanon on their e on the edge of their seats, like to the like last millimeter of their edge. Yeah. Well, whoever wins Honestly, this next round is like for the other team that's so gonna happen. Lebanon picked up a map and they're making this map number three go very very close in score. And with those two combined, kind of makes me think that Lebanon could potentially still lose the overtime and make playoffs. They're still very, like, it's probably, like, honestly, in my opinion, like, 50-50 kind of odds, kind of, that Lebanon can lose and make playoffs. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, it is going to be the side of St. Clair here. And a four-on-four. Four. Uh, every round, just so important at this point in time in the game. Jay Hook gets Casper, uh, and he has control of, uh... Caves. Is that tunnels? Yeah, it's cave tunnels. Uh, and yeah, he's got all that control over that tunnel. And that's going to be a concern as well because nobody's kind of up there right now. 
and your sage isn't really alive, so it's not like you have any kind of opportunity to maybe get an alt off on her. Wombat can cut some players off in rotation. He needs one. He needs one. Okay, he gets one. Makes this a little bit more winnable. But two, obviously, would have been preferred. JRC, though, if he peeks this, he is going to get so pinched. I do, such a scary push from JRC. He's totally not going to anticipate someone to his right. And Reliable going to punish him for it. Will a trade come through? Yes, it does. Blossom finds that one. Now in a one on two. We'll make things a little bit better off here for Blossom rather than the one on three he was just in. But uh, as soon as they realize that Blossom's on A, it will be the side of Lebanon instantly sending this one B, getting the bomb down, forcing Blossom to play retakes. This is going to be difficult for uh, Blossom to get uh, both of the kills, especially with Reyna being on the other side as J-Hook. Yeah, so, oh, there's one early. He's not going to anticipate the other player to be here, no. Yeah, see, you're not you're not anticipating that player to be there in a million years. I wouldn't either. Like, I'd be just be like, how is he behind me? Like, I'd be like, what the hell? But anyways, uh, it is going to be Lebanon up by a round here. And Sinclair needing another must-win round. And you know what? This is the third time that they have been in this situation in the last, like, four or five rounds. Because they are once again in a position where, hey, we don't win this round. We lose the series. Let's go. Let's get back at it. So, here we go. It's been like this for so, so long now for the Saints that, hey, got to win this round to win the series. Got to win this round to win the series. So, th they've been doing well under the pressure, but let's see if that can continue. That's going to be very difficult for them to um, for them to win two rounds in a row, especially uh, with, with it being defending. Yeah, a lot of Viper utility coming through over here towards this A site. JRC's already all the way fully pushed through here. Oh, that's going to be a big ping on a reliable JRC. Not going to fire any shots away as of yet. Finds out one. That's the offer. Going to find the kill and finds another. JRC goes big and gets out with this dash. Almost picking up the third, but VCAN finds it. And Casper cleans it up. 14-14. We're going to our third set of overtime. Wow. What a game, man. Like, <sighs> both teams, you can just tell, want it so badly right now. This is going to be very difficult for them to pull it off. I mean... Right now, this is the if I were, if I were SCC, this is what I would think. Okay, they've been they have been come uh, they keep on pushing A and then faking A and then going for B. So I'm just gonna leave two people at B no matter what and just three people on A unless they plant on A. Yeah, I think they're gonna have some sort of like mid two presence as well. Um, that they gotta kind of partner in there with all of that as well so yeah i agree i i think that you know keeping two per site's really good because they've been playing a lot of retakes like st clair's been forced to play retake after retake after retake so they can kind of just jump the gun on where lebanese going to plant be massive for them wombat just got some really good information with his drone there peeks out and sees ion way back towards spawn heading towards b and you know what i think this might be... I don't know. There's a couple players in tube. Like, this push is still anywhere, really, for Lebanon. This could go anywhere. I mean, with the bomb being mostly on A, I'd say this most likely will go A. Yeah, now. It's looking a little bit more A and A as we, you know, carry on with this round. VCAN going to be playing this bridge position. Doesn't look like... I just don't want to see VCAN get too aggressive towards tube. He actually will drop down, which is pretty interesting to see, which gives them a lot of tube control. Um, and now Vcan, does he open the door here or something? I don't know. Like, this is really interesting to give them so much tube. It's something that I haven't really seen a lot of. Um, but yeah, they're they're fully on the flank. We do have the sky here, though. That is going to be Casper. He doesn't really have the angle as of yet. But Reliable will open us up onto Vcan left. there. Going to make things a little concerning. JRC still searching for something. Both these players on the smoke still. Casper going to get shot down, too. Ion finds Blossom. JRC only able to find one to leave it into a one on four. And you know what? It's probably going to be another round for the guys over at Lebanon. You know what? I believe. Bomb's going down. Hey, let's see. Wombat, he starts it off. Hey, maybe let's see if you uh, your prediction can be big here. If Wombat wins this um, 1v4, I bet you Sinclair wins the game. But uh, very, very big 1v4 to have to win. Especially with... Uh, oh, the, oh, the Viper ult. I didn't even yep. see. That's going to be difficult to go through. Especially that Claude is with... Oh, Claude is going away. No, he's back. Oh, and that dart? Not going to find... Oh, Wombat! Makes it so much more winnable. Oh. No, not enough time. No, not enough time. No time to work it. And what a great try. What a great try from Wombat. 
Just trying to do something. Like, he got to the point where he's like, no, no time. And he was just like, damn, we're trying to scramble, trying to do something. But no, that's what makes Viper so good. You can have that whole smoke down, obviously so beneficial as is. And then it's those little Viper mollies as well that they can just throw down. And you instantly can't hop that bomb for... Like, what, there's like, like five seconds or something like that. Uh, it really just slows down. It will help Lebanon play time more. And it's going to be a 15th on the board for Lebanon once again in a situation where St. Clair is in a must-win round case scenario. See, now, with, with Viper Spit on Breeze, it's the, it's the most important ult that you can find. Yeah, yeah, Makes for sense. sure. I, I completely agree with you that A... A is specifically. I mean, B, obviously, it's really good for as well, but A, so good around those pyramids um, to play off of and whatnot. But here we are. Just going to be a lot of B pressure coming through for the Saints. V can opens this up on a Claude. Ion just waiting to try to for his Viper Wall to drop, and it will, but everybody for the Saints has their close pants already down. So it's a 5 on 4 in post plants case scenarios. They just got to play out from some trades here, and they'd win this round. So see if they can do it, but Ion gonna get aggressive, gets cleaned up, Blossom and JRC finds some, Reliable finds one, but gets traded up from Wombat, John Cook finds one, gets to the dismissal off in a one on three, but JRC ships them down, that's a 15-15 game, on to our another set of overtime here, and we are just gonna consistently Looking see the side. same thing happen over and over and over and over and over again, because uh, the, the trend doesn't look like it's gonna stop, like, it just looks like we're gonna see this trend stay for so, so long. All right, who do you think is going to get to 50 bomb first? Is it SCC or... I <laughs> <laughs> who knows, man? I like. Oh, man, what a game, though. That's all I got to say. It's John Cook over 30 already. Casper, or oh, actually not Casper, Blossom right near that. Blossom has been having a lot of double and triple kill rounds, and it's definitely showing to be beneficial for the Saints here. Big walls there from VCAN. I like that he changed up how he's been calling that wall. I think that maybe, you know, one of his teammates was like, hey, maybe try wall this way a little bit. It'll work a little bit better for you, whatnot there but yeah good wall yeah. there from him and it's now gonna really limit that two push because now they have to shoot through four walls to get through that door instead or two sorry two walls to get through that door but john cook gonna find jrc v can answers back with one on john cook claude though from door gonna get traded out from blossom great picks there from blossom to put us into a four on three in favor of st Clair and a heal there to kind of put v can back into health wise but the viper very very weak and v can didn't spot any of them so i think v can might yeah. Okay, okay, so Ping he is did. there. He did, he did? Thank God. Thank God, <laughs> man, because otherwise, I think that, that St. Clair's play is going to be in shambles. But this is St. Clair's best opportunity to get a round win here. Like, VKN's got all the intel in the world. Yeah, and they don't even know that he's behind them. Now they do. He only finding one is a little bit upsetting, but he does have the intel that... Okay, now... now Blossom's calling out that they're over here towards A. You see the Sova rotate over. Left. Blossom might be able to try to get one off a of plant. Spots at one, but Reliable finds it. That was the big frags that you needed. They were not able to find. And no way, they have the Viper ult again. That's the curse of overtime. They have the Viper so weak right now, but it doesn't matter because the Viper ult is through and through. And now... We do have Reliable over to the left, and he's going to clean it up. Reliable playing super reliable in this game, and it's going to be 16-15 in favor of Lebanon. A round that we thought was going to be possible. I just need a little more from Vikan on the flank. There's nothing he really could have done then. He couldn't use Trigger Discipline because the Razor was looking right at him. He had to take that gunfight. He did. Unfortunately, not able to find two. And then the Viper ult just made it even more difficult. So now St. Clair in a position once again. I feel like this is like me just repeating myself over and over and over. St. Clair in a must-win round case scenario. Uh, it looks like, um, you know what? It looks like my prediction is going uh, closer to close. You know, it's, it's just getting it's there. It's looking a little better for 30, you now. 38, here, yeah. 38. 38, 38. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wombat. Oh, oh, here's the aggressive rush again. Does it work out? John Guy gets a dismissal, but Blossom and Wombat and Casper answer. Backpedal to the metal. That's a 3v1 here now for St. Clair. All up to the Viper, and he's at 30 HP. And this is, they're just, why wouldn't they rerun this over to B? That's great stuff. JRC not even going to let it happen. That's going to be a shutdown. 16-16. Now, if St. Clair wins this round, it's game. I, I, I'm telling you that right now. If St. Clair can win this round, it's game. It's just, they got to win it. That's so big right now for St. All right. So he, here's what I feel like they should, uh, Saints should do. Uh, uh, their best defense is their offense. So what they do is they just rush. I think I, I don't disagree. I'm gonna, honestly going to be completely honest with you. I agree with you, Donka. 
Because even if they play it slow, worst case, what, they... There's probably a decent chance they lose that round again. They just can't seem to find an answer to Lebanon right now. But if they get aggressive and just really just sh shock them, I think that'd be very, very big. Doesn't yeah. look like that's what we're going to see. One big. Oh, two for JRC! He got the two! VK not able to find that one there. But this is now a three on two in favor of St. Clair. This is the closest they're going to be able to come to winning one of these defensive rounds. And they have to do it here. I'm praying to the Valorant gods, Riot Games, please. This is St. Clair's best opportunity to come through with their round one here. You have three players still alive, one of which is a Viper. Do any of them have their ult? That's my biggest question. Biggest question. Doesn't look to be the case. No. None of them have their ult. But, uh, looks like that, uh... Jet is uh, holding the rotation. The, yeah, but if John Cook gets killed off site here, that's so big for St. Clair. One enemy remains, and he does. Casper finds it. Three v one, all under the jet. Reliable here, spotted out. One HP, reliable clear. Yes! St. Clair win a defense, and guess what? Lebanon Valley, all the pressure's on you now because St. Clair, they've proven over and over that they can win these offensive rounds. It's the defense they struggle with, and they win their defensive round. Now, like we were saying, it's up to Lebanon Valley. First time I'm saying this in a while, if Lebanon Valley does not win this round, they will be going home and most likely missing out on playoffs. Wow. Donka, this series is going crazy, man. The hype is unreal. Honestly, like... I'm curious now, if if Lebanon doesn't make it, and they are like this good, like like they are, they are very decent. I, hey man, it's the uh, it's just tough bounce. Honestly, like it's it's just upsetting to see. Like we've seen it over and over in collegiate esports before. You know, you can be a really good roster, but just have a couple fluke games, and next thing you know, you're out of it. But really good stuff here. But John Cook can open us up, but a good refrag. And that Sage Wall down. Really going to cut off a lot of plants. JRC finds a pick. Four on three in favor of St. Clair. Bombs down. And they have post plants. Casper finds another one in mid. Lebanon Valley only have two players remaining. Nyx will find one there onto Casper. But still a lot of work to do if you're Lebanon here now. No player coming on a flank. They have to take this one head on. But the Sage Wall is in such a good spot to slow down any gunfights they're trying to come through. And now they're going to be forced to send through some util here. Lebanon slowly probably losing hope in this round. The slows are through. You're getting slowed down. You win your gunfight though. Nyx finds one as well. Wombat finds the one. He's in a 1v1. He can kind of just play time here. No time. St. Clair win! St. Clair win! There's no way. No, no, they don't. What do they do? St. Clair Jeez. wins! St. Clair finds it! Closes out! 18-16! And they will end the regular season off with a W in this NECC Valorant League. Oh my goodness! Let's go! The guys come back 10-2! Down 8 rounds! And they win 18-16 in overtime. Jonka... Probably the best game of Valorant I've ever casted right there. Honestly, same here. I've not like, been casting for long, but same here. Like, that Woo! was absolutely crazy. A deep, deep, deep overtime run there. Game three. So much on the line. This is what esports is all about, Donka. Look at them. They're all relieved. They're like, let's I know. go, finally. I, know. You, I already know right now Strider is ecstatic right now with <laughs> uh, it, being able to come through with a win there in that one. So, really good stuff from everybody involved there in that one. I, and honestly, my heart goes out to Lebanon. I, I, I hope you guys make playoffs. I'm going to tell you that right now because I don't think a team, I, I what is it, Dan? Three teams get cut? Yeah, so three teams get cut. And I think in this division, there is three teams worse than Lebanon. And I think that Lebanon deserves a chance in playoffs. I'm going to say that right now from the bottom of my heart. Lebanon, wish you the best of luck going forwards here. I hope that you guys are able to get a playoff entry with getting two, uh, getting a close game and a map win. It should help you guys get to just on the verge of maybe getting in there. Uh, we'll see how that one goes, but it's going to be St. Clair taking this one up 2-1. St. Clair going to better off their seeding going in now to playoffs as well. I think that does secure them a top four spot in seeding. Yes, it does. Yes, I so, believe very so. Very good stuff there. What a game, Donk. I'm still <laughs> running out of breath here, man. I'm gassed. Like, <laughs> I'm here going. We were standing up on the edge of our seats, like you were saying, calling the play-by-play -play every single time. Just mayhem gunfights in that last round of half there. So that is going to wrap us up here for the night. Um, and it is a great way to end up regular season. Does playoffs start next week or do we have like a week off? I, I wonder. Dan's um, going to double check on that one for me here real quick. 
Yeah, so we'll get back to you on that one in just a second. But in the meantime, while we get back to you on that one, we could go over and check out some Crunchyroll here. One of our sponsors new to us this season. Welcome in Crunchyroll, everybody. I know you've probably heard of it before if you're consistently tuned into some Saints broadcasts, but you guys can get a 14-day premium trial for free at Crunchyroll.com backslash Saints. Crunchyroll, essentially the Netflix of anime. And, uh, you know, any anime that you're kind of interested in watching, 99.9% .9 chance it's on Crunchyroll. Get it, check it out. Get your free premium child for today, crunchyroll.com backslash saints. And can't forget about the rest of our sponsors as well. So thank you to the Tim Hortons, Subway, Sinclair SRC, and the Sinclair College Alumni Association. And playoffs start on the 22nd of November. We have a one-week break for NECC playoffs, but I think NACE playoffs are something that's going on sometime soon too. So I think NACE playoffs start before NECC ones. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Thursday. So we do have some battle action coming your way. Stay tuned. Awesome. We got lots going on there. Tomorrow, League of Legends, I believe, on Tuesday. And that is going to be playoffs uh, for NACE. Or NACE. NACE, Okay, yeah. NACE playoffs. And that will be against McMaster. So make sure you guys tune in for that one. And that'll be exactly at 7 p.m.? 7 p.m.? Yeah, 7 p.m. start time. Tune in. 7 p.m. League of Legends, NACE playoffs. Round number two. St. Clair started off with a good one in round number one. And they're looking to carry it on. It's going to be a tough one. McMaster, really solid roster over there. But nonetheless, let's focus on closing this one out here. Um, Lebanon, once again, playing a great game. And we've got to give a little bit of a shout out to our St. Clair merch. I know you guys might be interested in copying some now after you see those amazing plays from our Valorant guys. Um, but yeah, acquire.ca backslash Saints if you guys are interested in getting some apparel. Uh, they got jerseys, jackets, t-shirts, crewnecks, hoodies, hats, flags, uh, masks, anything you can imagine. Everything's so comfortable, high quality, great designs, and affordable. Definitely check it out. The guys over at Acquire, great, great people. And uh, you guys should check it out. Maybe get some Saints merch if you're interested. And besides that, though, guys, that we'll be wrapping us up here for tonight. Once again, shout out to St. Clair for coming through, closing that one out. Great stuff to all the guys there. And... Really good try from Lebanon. Once again, I'd like to see you guys later on down the road here. I'd love to play this roster once again. But guys, with that being said, thank you so, so much for tuning in. My name, Jackson the Pride Brown, joined alongside Donka J. Donka, and you guys were watching St. Clair Saints Valorant in NECC regular season. We'll catch you all on the next one. Most here, but you don't have a crazy amount of time to work with. You gotta get her going. Yeah, at this point, just one stick, one go for kill. Oh, that's a big one. So Blossom gets a half, and he can't clean it up. He should have popped off that as soon as he got a half, but no, Nick's getting a 3k wins a 1v2 clutch, and Lebanon Valley gonna take the round number one of game number three here. Stinger could find some shots, doesn't get any cleanup, but he does there now. The Stinger gonna work out in his favor, he does pick off another. Yes, he does! Oh my god, picks up a Vandal for himself, spots out another, can't clean it up, Reliable and John Cook find a couple frags, but JRC comes through, he's a demon with the Sheriff in his hand, now a 2 on 2. Blossom didn't spot him out, but now he does, tries to get the headshot, but no, it's a Marshall versus Op, only one bullet for Blossom, and it's a half health jet, and he cleans it up with the classic Blossom, keeping St. Clair in this one, 3 to 1 is the scoreline we see now. The power of Reichling. Close this one up. They know exactly where Nyx is located. A smoke is through there to try to block off this cross a little bit. Now Wombat coming through here. He's got, like, times of the essence. This is the biggest thing right now is time. Viper is low HP. Okay, he wins. He's, uh, that's enough time. So, Zinkler able to pick up a second. Great stuff there from Wombat. Getting a 3 Timing, but he's still almost on the frag. Nyx will get tagged down to, like, 1 HP, essentially. Oh, no way he finds another. JRC's got to be able to get those trades off, but Nick's going to get a nice headshot with his Vandal. Cleans up another, and a third! You have to shut Nyx down, man. That's going to be Casper now playing off this angle. Finds one. He does have an offer to his left. He no Viper on pace for an ace. Smoke is going down. Doesn't matter. Nyx picks up an ace. Wombat jumps into the Molotov, and that's the benefit. Nyx. The last player alive to try to get the fuse off here. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Maybe another ace? <laughs> Maybe another ace? Quick, yeah, he's got to kill all five real quick and a defuse, but no. Flawless round. Start off for St. Clair. Big flash. That's four flash. you got to capitalize on that. John Cook going to come through. Blossom and Wombat find some frags. This is mayhem. Four on two for St. Clair. And it's another pick almost coming through. John Cook goes down. And there's one for VKN. The attacking side going to clean up that one. St. Clair is in a good spot to pick up a six. And when they pick up a six, like I'm considering them right back into the swing of things. I'm already concerned them back into it right oh, now. Oh, for sure, for sure. Especially Blossom opening things up in this round. They got to clear out this last player. They do, so Blossom, great stuff. It looks like this attacking side is looking a lot more cleaner and organized than the defending side. Spotted one to his right, but he
he also knows there's one to his left. He spots one off to his left. He wins that one off. Now a 2v2, and Blossom pulls off with his life. Goes Wombat finds one as well. These are great plays coming through from the Saints. They peek through. Blossom finds it. Despite losing two players the beginning of the round, St. Clair turns things around here, and it's a very aggressive rush as these players do make their way up too, but they do get cut off. Vcan tries to get a res off, but Blossom able to trade something out. John Cook is a big concern here right now, though, and John Cook finds one and a dismissal. The dismissal is what's so big on that play, and now at this point in time, St. Clair is just going to get shut down in their tracks. Lebanon Valley advances. Up Wombat and Blossom find two of their own, though, leaving it all up to the Jet, being reliable. He has an idea of where they are, but so do both of the Saints. Wombat's Weak. Blossom still up here towards the edge of this one. Reliable finds Wombat. Uh, Blossom cleans it up. St. Clair picks up an 11. At this point in time, still Claude and Co. are pushing through the back lines of the site. We get some intel there onto Blossom. JRC finds one. Trades come through. Claude here with an Ares gets shut down. And we're going to OT. Set for time. I oh, know. Yeah, I definitely believe that. Yeah, this bomb going to be ticking off here. Reliable, yeah, he will find one, but not going to mean a whole lot now. 2v1. Nyx, really no time to kind of make this one work. And it's going to be St. Clair looking to take this round. 13-13, heading into the overtime once again. Now, for oh, that's going to be a big ping on a reliable. JRC not going to fire any shots away as of yet. Finds out one, that's the offer. Going to find the kill and finds another. JRC goes big and gets out with the stash. Almost picking up the third, but VCAN finds it. And Casper cleans it up. 14-14, we're going to our third set. You know, he's just, just getting there. It's looking a little better for 38, you now. 38-38. Yeah. 38-38, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wombat, oh, oh, here's the aggressive rush again. Does it work out? John Guy gets a dismissal, but Blossom and Wombat, Casper! Answer, back pedal to the metal! That's a 3v1 here now for St. Clair, all up to the Viper, and he's at 30 HP. Finds it! 3v1 all under the jet! Reliable here, spotted out! 1 HP, Reliable clean yes! up! St. Clair win a defense, and guess what? Lebanon Valley, all the pressure's on you now, because St. Clair, no time! St. Clair win! St. Clair win! There's no way. No, no they don't. What do you do? St. Clair wins! St. Clair finds it! Closes out 18-16! And they will end the regular season off with a W in this ending.